What's going on, Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching Season 4, Week 1 of the ILL, the Indigo League of Legends. And, wow, we're back at it with the League portion of things for the ILL, and, of course, I'm your coach for the San Francisco Swampers. We're going to dominate this year. Uh, hopefully. I mean, that's my ambition, although it's more likely I'm going to get destroyed somehow. I don't know. I, I just feel like we're going to have a good season. Um, we drafted Samurox, Rotom, Normal Form, Charizard X, Primeape, Florges, and Celebi for my sixth Pokemon. I also picked up, I believe... Either Electrofire or Rhyperior, it's one of those, I can't remember on top of top of my head there. Um, I also know I got uh, Glaceon and Claygall. So, those are Pokemon I'm really excited to bring for out of the league. And so, my first week opponent is against uh, Karu or uh, Sketchy Smeargle. Yeah, especially Smeargle. And so, um, he had access to things like Go On Fan, uh, to set up entry hazards. We have to face NK, Sylveon, Mian Shao, uh, Kieran Black, and Jolteon. So, that, it looks like a great team, but I feel like Scarf Primate just deals with so many threats. Besides Sylveon and uh, probably Gonfan. So, this should be a great match. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle for the start of the ILL. Um, I apologize for not speaking correctly. I, I, I recently got wisdom teeth removed, so it's hard to speak at times, but we'll be fine. Alright, so Sam Rock is going to start out going for Taunt, which. <sighs> I was expecting him to set up some stealth offs there, but I think he predicts that goes with a knockoff. Knocks off my focus sash, which is which is fine. Uh, I go with a surf just to break the sturdy ability for Dawn Fan, but I hit Mian Shao and that does a ton of damage. Uh he switches he switches out again and the cure on black and I go into Rotom expecting a fighting type move. But, um, I completely forgot about, uh, Terravolt, because Terravolt is like Mold Breaker, so even though I have the Intigamate, or, uh, no, not Intigamate, uh, Levitate, excuse me, uh, Earth Power is still going to work. I'm going to go into Forges just to scare the crap out of Karen Black, and he goes into Sylveon, so that's great. I'm going to call mine right here, because if he wants to attack me, uh, he has to fear the call mind and the wish being active at the same time. Uh, but he does show me Cossack. I really wish I had um, Aromatherapy, because Aromatherapy would have been so nice throughout this whole battle, I, I gotta tell you. Because it's going to come into play here, Cossack and... The amount of damage it's going to do to my forges and some Pokemon later. Um, I get a ton of special attack drops from the Moon Blast that I'm going for. He's at minus two now, and it's like, wow, that's insane. But now I have an idea because at one point I'm thinking, okay, I can probably switch in my Charizard and Dragon and dance up. To a point where I can hopefully uh, one hit KO a variety of Pokemon. And the fact that Dragon Dance will boost up my speed as well. Uh, I will bypass the speed of like Choice Scarf NK or Choice Scarf Mian Shao or Choice Scarf Kieran Black. I'm going to continue going for that special attack drop from the Moon Blast there. I don't know how I'm getting those so often in this battle. That's kind of hacks for you, but yeah, we're going to try this, because look at the uh, Toxic is starting to rack up damage. I need to switch out. And just go into Extreme Fire, and after all those uh, special attack drops, 
hyper voice from Sylveon is not going to do anything, which is great. Now, at one point, I I I misclicked because um. Well, not this Dragon Dance, but the next turn after that, I misclick because I really should have gone with um, Forever Blitz this turn. I would probably KO this Sylveon, uh, and then I wouldn't have been toxic right here. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Now I am on a timer, and um, he has to protect as well. I really, really. You know, these kinds of turns where it's like he has Toxic and Protect, I really need to prepare for that more efficiently. Uh, because I attacked him when he went for Protect, even though I knew he had it. it it's just so stupid, really. And after all that recoil damage and the Toxic, I'm at a point where Ice Shard is going to KO me from Dawnfan. Expecting that, we're going to go into Samurai. And hopefully we can taunt him because if he sets up Skull Fox again, then uh, my Charizard would be gone. But fortunately, he goes in Earthquake. He does kill Samurai, but that gives me a free switch into Celebi. And I can go with the Psychic to break his Sturdy again because he switched out when I tried doing that earlier. And I knew he had knockoff. I knew I could also live it. And then. I really, I mean, yeah, I switch out to Victor, expecting Ice Shark, but I need Selby to be around so that I can have a nice insurance in the back there. So I get to bring in my Victor, the um, the Primeape, Short Scarf. We're going to hit a ton of Pokemon here. So seeing that Short Scarf means that, um, Either the Man Shao isn't banded, or he is, um, well, excuse me, uh, if the Man Shao wasn't scarfed, or maybe he is scarfed, I don't know, but we're both scarfed, and I have speed, so, um, wow, that is so confusing. So anyway, so, um, he, Victor is going to do a ton of damage here, so, uh, I make a mistake right here. I actually should have gone with the close combat uh, to put a lot of damage onto this NK. For all I know, it probably is Choice Scarfed, but he told me that he is uh, Choice Banded, which sucks because I, for one thing, got, thought that Charizard X would have outsped NK, but that is not the case. So. That's a little bit unfortunate because this earthquake isn't going to KO NK. And so he's going to KO Victor. And all I have left is Celebi. And that means that we're going to lose the match. Which is just unfortunate because all that work that Victor went through throughout this battle. I thought I could win this one. But nope, we don't. So we lose 2-0. But that's fine. Uh... Just a great battle overall, and I think we're going to learn from our experiences for week two, when I face against uh, the Los Angeles Neo Kings, aka Johnny Diesel. So I'll hopefully have that battle up here soon, and until next time, I'll see you guys all whenever I get the chance to upload. Alright, have a great day, trainers. Bye.